I'm Nick Rodriguez, and today we're going to cover the steps of how to commission a single-headed 500 co-pilot system. So at this point, we've got everything mounted, ready to, uh, we're at the stage where we can actually go ahead and prime up our print head. So in order to do that, we're going to have to add some ink to our ink system here. Just want to take your dust cover off, and you want to get your ink cartridge out of the bag and you'll notice a number that'll tell you what kind of ink it is as well um, but one of the things we've got to point out here is the foil all right and it's very important to remove the foil from the center portion of this connector right if any foil is left on here it's going to impede the flow of the ink into the ink cartridge and you may uh, find yourself in a situation where your printhead is starving for ink so to do that, we're going to go ahead and place our cartridge down and use a knife to carefully cut around the edges. I want to make sure I don't get any foil that falls into the cartridge itself. Our cartridge is now ready to install here. There's a spring-loaded flap there that'll be lifted up by that piston in the way there. So we're gonna go ahead and set our cartridge at a 90 degree angle, like so, and spin tight. At this point, you should be able to almost hear the ink draining into the ink system. With our ink cartridge installed, the next step is to first ensure that we have level. And what we want to do is we want to line up the bottom of the print head right here with the top of the reservoir. That's where we start. And we can make adjustments depending on the number or the, the amount of ink that you're using in your application, your messages as, as you go along. But for right now, this adjustment is where you want to start. Once you have that leveled, then we can go ahead and prime the print head with the ink. So to begin priming the print head, the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our vent cap. The vent cap on our passive systems is going to want to be open while the system is running and printing. Just like so. And you just leave it open for the duration of the system's runtime. Once we have our ink line hooked up and we're ready to prime up, what we what I like to do is make sure we have something under the print head to catch any fluid that may escape from the print engine while we're priming. Now in order to prime the print head, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the priming bulb on the ink reservoir here. And we're going to try to force as much of that air that's in this ink line and in the print engine out of the output check valve or the priming check valve. So I'd like to take a lint-free wipe, fold it up, and open up the cap on the output check valve. And I'll go ahead and hold that in place like so. Now with my other hand, I'm going to go ahead and start gently forcing down the, ink, the priming bulb. And you should begin to see ink traveling up the ink line and passing that check valve. Now our whole goal here, especially on this output check valve portion, is to keep priming until we no longer see any air bubbles come out, which you'll notice right there. Now, once you're happy with the ink that's coming out, which I'm getting close to. Yeah, there's a little bit more air there. There we go. That's a good place to start. So we'll go ahead and cap our output check valve line and you want to leave it closed while the system is running 
So now that I'm happy with the amount of ink that's coming out of my output jack valve and I have it capped, I'm going to take a lint-free wipe and fold it like so and start at the bottom of my print engine here. With my other free hand, I'm going to work that priming bulb and my goal is to see ink come out of that print engine. I like to work my way up as I press the priming bulb. And what we're looking for is to push out any air bubbles that may be stuck inside of that print engine. Once I'm happy, I'll go ahead and clear off the excess ink. With everything set up on our controller and our print head primed up, we're ready to go ahead and test our print. Again, I'm Nick Rodriguez with the Squid Ink Service Team. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you would like to see any more videos, go ahead and find us on YouTube or elsewhere on the web. Thanks for watching.